am Nash Amber. I don't know if I have really explained properly what my channel is about. I think there's other videos, like I had, did an introduction one like a while back, but I didn't really explain what this channel is about and why I started doing this, um, like video blogging and blogging in general. So I thought, hey, why am uh, not just give you guys, um, yeah, just kind of insight into what is going on, what's going on. So, like I said, I'm Dash Amber. I just really, really, really like styling. I'm really, really passionate about styling. And in particular, um, I love being modest with my styling. And what it means to be modest, literally, is I love, um, I love reflecting who I am in Christ today through the way that I dress. And what I mean by that is that I'm really precious to God, like really precious to him. I think I'm, I'm more precious to him than I even know and I'm still discovering and so it's quite deep. But because I'm precious, God desires for me to dress like I'm his daughter and he's the king of all kings. And so because I'm his daughter, I'm royalty. Um, I'm his daughter, so my dad's the king. So. Um, as royalty, I must present myself in um, in a decent manner, in a way that's respectable to myself, that shows my value, my worth, as well as being respectable to my dad and showing that, yeah, I'm his daughter. And so, I love being modest. So modest is me covering up, is me really displaying the things that God is doing within me. And so the clothing side is so secondary and it's not the primary focus of modesty, but it is a big, it is yeah, a Yeah, I'm just going to give you a quick it. synopsis of my life before Christ and now where i am what this channel is just basically encompassing and all of that great stuff so yeah i just used to be really shy so even doing this right now is god his grace is him helping me to just be here i had friends that were really stylish and i used to admire them and really want to dress similar to how they dressed because i didn't know myself i didn't really know who nash was what nash likes etc etc so i just really wanted to like dress nice and they would wear like nice jeans and like it would fit them nicely and I'll just look at myself and I was just like straight and I'll be thinking yeah that's not gonna work so I didn't really like my body shape I didn't really like how God built me to be um so there was a lot of work and there has been a lot of work that God has done with me literally to get me to love myself as I am and to love styling me and styling other people as well but um, yeah, I just used to be really shy and I used to just really envy other people because of how they looked, how they presented themselves. Some people's personalities just were just so bold and just confident. And there was me like just shy and quiet and just like, yeah, blending in or trying to blend. I didn't really blend, but I tried. And um, yeah, I just was really um, not who I am today. <laughs> I wasn't who I am today, like I've come a long way from how I used to be and how I used to dress, but I've always liked styling. But when I came to Christ, I knew that how I used to dress, like low cut tops, like literally low cut all the way like there. Yeah, just so much cleavage and stuff, it wasn't great. And like hot pants, yeah, it wasn't cute at all. Um, but even though I knew that wasn't right, my mum had taught me about modesty from very young, but I wanted to do my own thing and rebel and be like, yeah, mum, that's not cool, like, modesty, I'll forget that, who's doing that? None of my friends are doing it. Um, but when I came to Christ, he really started to work on my heart. Like, God didn't even talk to me a lot about modesty. He just talked to me about my heart, about where I was, about how I saw myself and how broken I really was, even though I didn't know this at the time. Um, I didn't, I had a lot of insecurities, a lot of insecurities, and because of insecurities, I used to behave in a certain way. And because of insecurities, I used to just dress in a certain way and speak in a certain way and respond. And my character was just really not that great. Um, I would snap at people quickly, get in a mood, not want to forgive people and upset me. But yeah, God really had to help me <laughs> a lot and um, teach me about forgiveness, teach me about love, teach me about patience, teach me about long suffering. Um, he's taught me about like how to um, love, not just by saying it, but to love indeed in your doing that you show you love somebody as well. It's just been, it's just been a journey, but it's been a great journey, but it has been a journey. Uh, I haven't arrived yet, but I'm still journeying on. So having said that, styling, when I came, I wanted to see, I wanted to still be able to, you know, please God in everything that I do now that I am, you know, kingdom. But I just found that when it came to the area of like fashion, there was a lot of, 
influences and things that I saw that was just really dark and just really not what God wanted me to be a part of. And the certain way I used to dress again, I couldn't dress like that anymore because now I was a princess, I was royalty, I was Christ. I had to... I had to exchange all that shame I was wearing and all of that rejection I was wearing and, and put on his love, put on his righteousness, put on what God has given to me, give, put on acceptance to know that, yeah, I am in him. So, yeah, I didn't really have a lot of influences, I would say, of people that were modest in terms of dressing nicely and covering themselves, like, in a decent manner without it looking um, interesting, is the word I'll call right now. Just really, like, dull and grey and stuff. And that's how... It kind of was portrayed like modesty was just like dull, like you wasn't allowed to wear colours. You just had to just have like a tent on and just like, yeah. It was exaggerated from the truth, like that's not what like Christ expects from us. That's not what God expects from us. He wants us to be in him and to reflect his beauty. And God is so creative and so beautiful and the things that he makes are so beautiful. And um, yeah, that actually is a point in talking about beauty because we call God beautiful I call God's children they call him beautiful oh he's so lovely he's so beautiful but the Bible says that no man has seen God and that God is a spirit and those that worship him they need to worship in spirit and in truth therefore if we've never seen God how do we know he's beautiful question mark so the answer to that um, is that God's character who he is is beautiful and who he is is God and us as well as people, ha what you see is not who I am. This is a shell, this is my body. However, my soul is who I am. That's Nash. And so when we say, oh, you're so beautiful, most times it can just be external beauty, looking at someone's features, the way someone's eyes are, the way their eyelashes curl, and the way they've nicely glossed their lips, etc., etc. But all of that stuff can fade. All of that stuff could just not be there but it comes down to who are you your character the core of you um are you a beautiful person so is your you know do people enjoy being around you um are you loving are you caring are you forgiving are you merciful are you like you know are you or are you rude and just all like chicken neck and stuff and stush and just yeah not pleasant and God is not like that. God is beautiful. He's caring. He's lovely. He's kind. He's creative. He's, he's colourful. He's bright. He's life. And he makes his children just like him. And so he's given me creativity. And I love to be creative in my clothes. And so I'm going to just be showing you some styles that I put together. Um, as we know, summer's here in London and around the world as well, in different areas. And when it comes to summer, this is a time when modesty literally seems to just go out the window for a lot a lot of females um even those that actually are his children and what i mean by that is that those that are actually have actually been saved by christ accepted his salvation and now are walking they're now disciples for jesus christ even in those individuals you still find that there can be some discrepancies in um dress and things so god really has a heart for us he loves us and I just love the fact that he loves me enough to correct me if I am in error. Um, so when it comes to clothes, we're going to be having fun because I'm going to be showing you how you can be modest. You can honour God in the way that you dress, in the way that you respond, in the way that you love others, the way that you your character is. You can love God and be a godly woman and dress in a stylish manner without having to compromise who you are in Christ. And that's the big thing that God has really taught me that Nash, you don't have to compromise you're now in my kingdom and because you are mine and you're in my kingdom you don't have to compromise you don't have to follow the pattern of where you've come from you're now into my kingdom so you have a responsibility to learn you know the house rules in the kingdom and follow the house rules and the main house rule which is in the kingdom of god which god has put out there for women is to be modest um i'm just going to read a quick verse for you um which just really yeah, it just really speaks to me in my life. And so I just want to share it with you as well. And so it's Romans and it's chapter 14. And I'm reading verses 12 and 13. And I'm reading the New King James Version. And so um, verse 12 reads, So then, each of us shall give account of himself to God. Verse 13. Therefore, 
let us not judge one another anymore but rather resolve this not to put a stumbling block or a cause to fall in our brother's way this is a verse which talks about us not being a stumbling block and before that it talks about us not to judge one another anymore but rather to resolve this by not being a stumbling block and the Lord has really spoken to me about this verse because I've heard a lot of ladies, sisters, you know, saying when it comes to dressing modest, especially in the summer or just in general, yeah, well, guys shouldn't be looking at me, they need to sort themselves out then, etc, etc, etc. Now that is true, that they do, men, brothers, they do need to make sure that there's no lust in their heart and that they're not looking at you in an indecent way because you could be dressing very modest and they are still having issues between them and God. However, as a female, you do have a responsibility um, to not be a stumbling block. And what that means is to not be an obstacle. Like, men are very, very, very visual. It doesn't matter if they're saved or unsaved. Men are visual and certain things causes the mind to go in a certain place that doesn't need to go. And those that are aiming to be holy, having sisters around them dressing in an unholy manner, it doesn't help. It just does not help. And so God has really taught me that if you're my daughter, you should desire to be holy. And in you desiring to be holy, you should also desire for other people to be holy. Therefore, I want my brothers to stay holy. I want my brothers to stay pure. And so I don't want to be a cause for why they find it even more difficult to be pure, especially in that area. Um, and so, yeah, while it's summer... I'm going to be showing you outfits that I've put together, outfits I wear, just to help you to get some ideas of how you can honour God in how you dress. This is what this is about. This is not about, oh, let's just dress nice for the brothers, so, you know, let me just be anyhow when the brothers are not there. No, this is for yourself. These, this is so that you can have um, substance to teach to the other generation, to your younger sister, to your cousin, to your daughter, to whoever it is. Um, so this is important for us to really get women, to really understand that God wants us to be modest. Um, and again, being modest is something that God has spoken um, spoken about to his children, to his bride, to those that have already accepted salvation. So if you're watching the video and you haven't accepted Christ as your Lord and Saviour, then being modest is still a great thing. I would say still get involved. However, your heart, you and Christ need to be you know reconciled you really need to be reconciled and so those that have already been reconciled god is talking to you he's talking to me he's talking to us about us being modest um and again modesty is not just about the clothes because we see many people in our society that cover up from head to toe and only show their eyes however the heart has to be connected to Christ. And modesty is about you wanting to honour God, you honouring Christ in your character, in your conduct, and in how you dress. Um, and so this channel is going to be really, um, by his grace, going into depth, um, into different areas of being a woman of Christ in this generation and beyond, being modest, um, honouring God, with your body with everything that you have and being stylish in in how you do that um, not to bring attention to yourself because that's not what this is about as women of christ our responsibility and our heart should be to bring attention to jesus so even in us dressing beautiful it's so when they admire to be like wow you dress so nice again it's an opportunity to to be like well you know my father you can you can bring it in and again when i look at creation and i look at flowers they are so beautiful in the different colors that god has created and so i love colors and um flowers and things really 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 inspire me in fact i'm going to show you um, a photograph which i put on my instagram and um it, i think it was on my um twitter account as well for a while but it was of a bird and this bird was just so beautiful and i just really liked it yeah, I kind of like random stuff like that. Like, yeah, just random things that I find and I like them. But yeah, this bird, let me have, let me show you. Hopefully you can see it and it's not blurry. Oh gosh, let me see if you can see that. I'm not sure. I'm so sorry if you can't see it. So that, this is really beautiful. And this is just, again, another demonstration of how creative and how beautiful and how God is not dull. God is not dull. So why would he want us as his children to be dull? I don't comprehend that. Yeah, so God doesn't want us to be dull. He just wants us to honour him in every way and um, to be creative with it as well and say, so that's what I aim to bring you. Um, creativity in how you can 
put things together without compromising who you are in Christ. Um, so I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that it's helped you to just see again that, hold on a minute, let me just check my, my heart. Let me check where I am with God in this area. Let me check, am I honouring him in my character? Am I honouring him in my conduct? Am I honouring him in the way that I dress? Um, especially as summer's around the corner and it's so tempting to just put on what you used to wear before because it was cute but we're not here in the kingdom of God just to be cute we're here to be holy God is holy and desires for his children and his bride and his daughters to be holy also and so before we go to cute let's go to holy 